wrestling fans of the world. You are listening to Ring of Respect Radio, and I am your host, the real Bobby Munson. Thank you once again for tuning into the show, and as always, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to click the subscribe button down below and ring the bell to turn on notifications so you know anytime we release new material right here on Ring Respect Radio. And yes, folks, uh, we are on the cusp of it. Today is WWE's all-woman pay-per-view, Evolution. I hope you're going to be watching it and supporting it because everybody there deserves this, uh, especially in this industry. It is time to have su- you know an all-women's pay-per-view. I know that a lot of people know have uh, looked into it and noticed that there, you know, has been uh, pay-per-views like this done before in other companies. Uh, particularly uh, Impact Wrestling has done something similar to this, but uh, this is more global scale, of course, uh, reaching the masses, and that's the way it's going to be promoted, and you know what, so so let it be. It's the first time WWE has done it anyway, and you know what, it's going to be a great show. I'm looking forward to it. I uh, hope you are too, because it's not always about uh, having the same old thing over and over again. Uh, we're finally going to get to see you know some new faces, get an opportunity on pay-per-view, uh, here with Evolution. Uh, so it's a great uh, platform for all these women. Uh, hopefully that uh, it'll all turn out fantastically as well. And this can be a more common thing that, you know, get them uh, their opportunities that they truly deserve. Anyway, let's uh, get down to the actual predictions of the show itself. So uh, we're going to start off with the finals of the May Young Classic. Yes, it's going to be Tony Storm taking on Io Shirai, I believe the name, pronunciation is. I apologize if I did not get that correctly. But uh, yes, uh, those two are going to be squaring off and fantastic work the two of them have been doing throughout the May Young Classic. Uh, if you have not checked that out yet, uh, go ahead and check out the episodes of the May Young Classic. Uh, it's been a fantastic show. Uh, we could not ask for a better finale here. Uh, I, I know a lot of people are going to probably disagree with me here, but I really think that they're going to have Tony Storm pick up the win, and that's who my prediction is going to be. I'm going to go Tony Storm for the win in this one, and that is will kind of play into things that I have in mind uh, for one of the other matches. In fact, you know what? The next match, in fact. So uh, we're going to go ahead and say Tony Storm on that one. She picks up the win, picks up the May Young Classic. And the next match itself is the NXT Women's Championship match. Uh, the current NXT Women's Champion, uh, Kyrie Sane, is going to be defending against uh, former champion Shayna Baszler. And I think this time around, it's not going to be looking so well for the Pirate Princess. I think that this is going to be the opportunity for Shayna Baszler to pull that title back and for them to start a program between Shayna Baszler and Tony Storm coming up uh, with Tony uh, winning the May Young Classic. They, you know, have a good adversary with uh, Shayna Baszler there. It's, it's how I see it per, uh, panning out. I could be completely wrong. And, you know, I, I pro- possibly am very wrong on this. But uh, I'm going to go ahead with those predictions, saying that that's what I think is going to go down. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any reason why that uh, decision is incorrect. I'd love to get in the discussion with you guys. Uh, moving on to the very next match. This is a 3v3 matchup. We are going to see the Riot Squad taking on the team of Natalia, Sasha Banks, and Bailey. Uh, to me, this one here, uh, you, you just brought Sasha Banks back. I, you would want to believe that this is going to be the easy, you know, the easy win, Sasha, Bailey, Natalia picking it up. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think maybe there's more story to be told here. Maybe somebody's going to be get, getting upset with the decision and stuff like that. The Riot Squad are going to stop at absolutely nothing in order to get their victory in this matchup. I think this is going to be the opportunity to give the Riot Squad the win, making them look strong. Uh, Then having maybe some more dissension in the Sasha Bailey saga. I know many people probably groaning a little bit hearing that right now as they did not like where it was going before. But maybe a little bit of a rewind here, a reset for the Sasha Bailey feud. And maybe it can pan out into something that everybody was hoping it would once upon a time. And giving them the opportunity that everybody wants to see them get. Uh, We're then going to have the historic women's battle royal uh, for a future uh, women's championship opportunity. So this is going to be, 
the opportunity for one of these women to take on the women's champion. I, I going to have to be perfectly honest. I haven't tuned into as much programming lately as I would have liked to. So I'm maybe not caught up on a few things. I'm uh, not really too sure if this is the, you know, any championship that they choose or whether this is particular to their brand, because then, you know, we've also got some wild cards in there of, uh, one, women that don't belong to any particular brand because they're coming back as uh, some of the legends. So I see this is going to be possibly a way to boost somebody who need, you know could use a little bit of a boost uh, going into a championship opportunity. Uh, I don't see this as being a way to bring back one of the legends and bring them in for an opportunity at the championship. I think you're going to see this as a platform to either you know, give a boost to the top to somebody completely unexpected, or it's going to be an opportunity to rebuild somebody. And to me, this is your opportunity for either Oscar or Nia Jax. And the way things have been going at the moment, um, you know, you could go Oscar and then have them gloat that now she's won two battle Royals uh, in order to get her championship opportunities. There might be something in that one right there, but who, who's to say? We'll have to wait and see. I think I'm going to have to go with my prediction of Nia Jax, and that's just the way I see see this going. I mean, there is a little bit of an un, you know untold story that didn't pan out fully with uh, Nia Jax and Asuka where we last left Nia off. So I have a funny feeling uh, Nia Jax is going to pick up this victory and then get into her program. Uh, moving forward with Ronda Rousey, uh, which kind of give, gives a little bit of a giveaway to what I think is going to happen in that match later on in the night. Uh, so women's tag team matchup, it's going to be the return of Trish Stratus and Lita as they team up to now take on uh, Mickey James and Alicia Fox. Originally, uh, Alexa Bliss was going to be the tag team partner of Mickey James. Unfortunately, she is uncleared, uh, not cleared to be able to compete in this matchup. Uh, due to injury, so Alicia Fox stepping in to take her place. Uh, whether Alexa was going to be there or not, I kind of foresee this outcome being the same regardless. Uh, WWE is investing a lot of mo uh, money, I would assume, bringing uh, Trish back as, and bringing Lita back as well too, uh, putting a lot of uh, you know, a lot of interest into this uh, return of both these women. Uh, and there's no real stakes on the line either, no championships or any guarantees of full-time returns. So I really see this one go in the way of Trish and Lita, especially with the uh, drawing power and name status that uh, the two of them have, especially Trish Stratus outside of the WWE. A lot of eyes will be on that. And a victory there is going to do do well for them. And honestly, at this point, I don't think it's going to do any harm to uh, Alicia Fox or to Mickey James as well. SmackDown Women's Championship matchup, probably the most well-built match on the card and the one that most of the fans around the world are looking forward to. Uh, this has been a well-built match, not just for this pay-per-view, but in general in WWE at the moment. Champion Becky Lynch taking on Charlotte Flair and this one a last woman standing matchup. I think this uh, feud has become red hot. People are loving it. Uh, you know, is this going to be the end of Becky Lynch and Charlotte after this particular matchup? Uh, do they call this feud to a close all of a sudden, you know, just as it's really gotten the attention of the fans? I really don't think so. And how do you keep this going? How do you continue to have these two feuding with each other if there isn't a title change? So I foresee a title change happening in this one, folks. I foresee Charlotte picking up the win Really having WWE capitalize on the backlash or the heel heat that Charlotte is getting despite not being the heel character. I, I have a funny feeling there could be a somewhat of a double turn coming where these two quickly uh, change roles once again. Uh, Charlotte becoming the champion and continuing this feud that, again, is going to be a major talking point and a major focal point of WWE programming at the moment. And I believe they want to keep that going. They've got something special there. Why not keep it going for a little while longer at least? And then the uh, final match on this uh, card, it is going to be WWE Raw Women's Champion, Rowdy Ronda Rousey, and she's taking on Nikki Bella. Uh, Nikki Bella turning heel recently with her sister Brie as they uh, turned on Ronda Rousey and set the tone for this match up here. So 
A lot of eyes on this matchup. Ronda Rousey picks up the victory. Going to look good on Ronda Rousey. And that's how your night ends. That's WWE Evolution, and that's my predictions here. Uh, Again, if you have any differences in opinion when it comes down to it, that's the wonderful thing about wrestling. Let's talk about it. Let's build this wrestling community and make sure to comment me in the comment section below. I do my best to read all the comments and get back to each and every one of you. And let's have a conversation going out. Let's, uh, let's all enjoy WWE's evolution tomorrow night and give these women the support they damn well deserve. Uh, speaking about uh, women in wrestling, though, before I uh, send off on tonight's episode, I want you all to uh, pay very close attention over to HIW Canada's YouTube channel. Uh, Wildside TV, as you know, I am the host of, and I also do the, all the video work as well for Wildside TV over there. So make sure to stay tuned to our channel over there because you want to talk about firsts in professional wrestling. We're talking about WWE's first all-women's pay-per-view. Well, we just had a first at our event on Friday, October the 26th that is going to air on Wildside TV in a couple of weeks. So not this coming Saturday, but the one following. We will have the matchup between... Kat Von Hees and Bobby Sharp in a hair versus hair match. And folks, this was the first time that a husband versus wife hair versus hair match has taken place in professional wrestling. Try to prove me wrong. Find out somewhere else that it was ever taken place and show me with the comment section below. Link me to a video that proves otherwise that this was not the first time this happened in history. So you're going to be able to witness history in the making when you subscribe to HIW Canada's YouTube channel and turn on notifications over there in order to get a get in on Wildside TV each and every week. Get on over there and do that. But before you do, remember, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on my notifications here as well. Give me a good old thumbs up as well, too. Much appreciated if you do. There's your predictions for WWE's evolution. Make sure to tune into that and continue to stay tuned to Ring Respect Radio for more brand new wrestling content as often as we can deliver it here to each and every one of you out there in the wrestling community. I have been the real Bobby Munson for another edition of Ring Respect Radio. And as always, folks, you either get real or get Munson. Bobby out.